What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be starting our yearly Lifted Truck Nationals Crunch. As of today, Friday, we've got one week until we actually go down to Branson for Lifted Truck Nationals. And if you watched my last video, you can see that I'm kind of concerned about the condition of the engine and what's gonna happen at the show. And uh, I mean, honestly, you know, if something does happen, you know, it would be not a terrible video first off, um, you know, and then it just kind of really kicks the uh, the LS project up. I can really get started on that, you know, pretty good. And yeah, I don't know. That's that, that's a build that's gonna be a while. It's gonna it's gonna take a little bit just because of the of the expense of parts, the availability of parts, stuff like that. But I'm definitely gonna want to start, you know, getting that ready and getting that built up to where hopefully by next year and before Lifted Truck Nationals. We can have the thing put in the truck. My main goal, my ultimate goal for the engine is to have it ready. And uh, honestly, I would love to have it in the truck by next, I wanna say July, June or July. Uh, that would be ideal. I don't know if it's gonna happen. I honestly don't think it's gonna happen between you guys and me. Hopefully if my plans work out, I will have a lot more availability to do truck work uh, as far as like time and even funds go. But today we are uh, gonna get started, you know, finishing up what we need to finish up to get this thing ready to roll. Every single time, like, every time I come out here to film in the evenings, this tree is like Cicada City. I make that really annoying noise when you're trying to film a video and it just kind of ruins everything. We've also got a few things in the works as far as like the stereo. This came in the other day and I know you guys are thinking, you know, this is not a double DIN. Um, I mean, it's a single DIN with an LCD touchscreen. Reason being is uh, I've got just a regular single DIN Pioneer in the truck right now. I wanted something with a screen. I really, and at, one, at some point I'm going to do the double DIN swap, but right now we're going to use this guy. It was only a hundred bucks. Uh, shipped from Walmart of all places and it's got the screen it's got the Bluetooth and it's gonna work and do the job for what I need and I've got some different uh, rock lights in here that I'm gonna try out uh, I've been using C4 off-road rock lights for years now and uh, there's so so many rock light brands out there but I'm gonna try out a couple of different ones and uh, we're gonna see you know how those do what they look like how they perform and then if anything if something happens to them i could always just take that that light out and replace it with a different kind of light all right first things first let's see if this thing will fire up put a brand new battery in it let's see And we've got a flashing check engine lights on the dash now. We pulled the codes and it only is showing one code uh, for a cylinder six misfire. And if you guys remember, we did do the leak down test. Found out that most of the cylinders were indeed uh, having a bad um, issue with the leak down test. Cylinder six though really wasn't too bad at 33%, but it was still having some issues. All right, making some good headway on this side. We've got pretty much everything uh, done. I've got to go run and grab a pickle fork because I don't have one for the upper ball joint uh, to get that dislodged and probably get the ball joint press uh, for the lower one as well. Um, unless it does what the other side did. And uh, this is here's what the other side did. I'll insert that. So you think the ball joints are bad on your truck? I'll check this out. Yeah, just a, just a little bit of play. It's always kind of perfectly normal just to have, you know, slight play in your ball joints here. But you want to see something really cool? This is even better. So these are press-in ball joints, right? You got to use a uh, ball joint press to press them into the lower control arm. Well, in this case, I don't. I've got the new slide-in style. So you just kind of get it in the right angle, slide it up, and boom. Seated, flush to the control arm. It's in there over here and uh, yeah it was that was pretty bad um, if you guys watched me on Instagram or snapchat uh, you guys would have seen that the uh, the lower ball joint on this side 
basically just fell right out of the control arm. Like it's it's literally held into the control arm, but with, no, with nothing but pressure. Yeah, that's kind of concerning. The fact that it did that, and I was literally able to press the ball joint out by hand. Actually, it fell out with a knuckle, and I pressed it in by hand. And uh, using the floor jack, I kind of got it lodged up there as good as I can. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's that's not good. I mean, it's definitely not good. And what sucks is really there's nobody that offers any aftermarket control arms that I am aware of. If you guys know where you can go get aftermarket control arms, uh, drop a link down below the lower control arms. The upper ones I'm pretty set on, uh, but I do, however, need a new set of lower control arms at some point if I'm going to stick with the IFS. I'm not really planning on sticking with the IFS. Planning on doing a solid axle swap at some point in the future, so I might just not even worry about it. Hopefully, this might be my last time changing out ball joints on an independent front suspension setup for this truck. All right, updates on everything. We got the lower joint pressed out and the new one pressed in. The thing about these new ones, um, this is actually a new design by Moog. It's going to be hard for you guys to see, but underneath it, uh, you can see it does not have the big boot sticking out. Uh, such as the old style ones that have the big boot that always causes a problem. They always split, uh, you know, within a couple of months, especially on a lifted truck where the angles just aren't 100% uh, exactly where they need to be. Uh, so the boots always split and your grease leaks out and that's really what causes them to fail. Uh, so these have internal dust boots, so it should be a lot better. And I think the ball joints should last quite a bit longer uh, as far as the lower joint goes. So we got that one done. Just need to put in the upper and then put everything back together along with the new CV axle and the new uh, tie rods. And we're gonna get rock lights done, the new stereo, and we'll be on our way. Uh, it's, been a, it's been a process, it's always a process getting ready for Lifted Truck Nationals. For me, it's not about you know really winning an award. I, I've never won a Top 75 award, and this year I'm really not planning on it. But, um, you know, it's, it's just there to show off, you know, what you work on, what you, what you spend your time building and you know uh, progress that you've made this year like i said before in a previous video it hasn't been a ton of progress and uh, 2022 we're going to be coming out there with something pretty cool i hope all right it's i don't even know what time it is in the morning honestly it's got to be at least one o'clock maybe i don't know I haven't looked at the time but rock lights are in we've done uh, a little bit of purple and a little bit more white my favorite part is going to be the rear end under here it just looks pretty good with the chrome div cover and you know all the white light and something that's pretty cool um about these lights is they're nothing expensive nothing fancy uh, of course i've got my c4 uh, lights up here in the fenders i've had those up here for several years uh, but the purple lights just a random light that i bought off of amazon and they're up under here like that there's three of them on each side lighting up the center of the truck and these lights back here up on that cross member up there those are actually walmart branded or not walmart branded but uh rock lights that i got from walmart uh, believe it or not and we've got two more up in the front corners uh, kind of completing the whole rectangle um, underneath kind of completing the whole light pattern to where we don't have any breaks um, in the middle and uh, yeah i mean it came out pretty good you know it's definitely good to have it lit back up I, like i said before i think uh my i didn't have any rock lights working last year all the rock lights um there's like one in each front fender were working and that's it so i wasn't able to run the rock lights last year but right now we've got just like the paint is white with purple pearl so we've got white mixed with the purple pearl uh, we've got the rock lights are doing the same thing the white mixed with the purple and uh, i think it came out pretty cool all right we are back it's a fresh new day got nice and uh, rested up it was a late night last night trying to get everything all cleaned up and everything kind of buttoned up still got a lot of that to do uh today um huge huge thanks i just want to say huge huge thanks to uh to my dad for coming over and, and spending so many hours um helping me with the rock lights all the wiring we do everything to the truck ourselves. Um, you know, for the most part, as long as it's not something huge, like a transmission job or, you know, whatever that case may be. We've got uh, some uh, more little things to do here. We've got the uh, rock light wiring. We need to get that kind of cleaned up, zip tied up into place. We've got some 
black frame paint painting we need to do. Uh, not really so much the back, but the front. Um, as you guys saw last night, the rear differential and everything's lit up very, very well now. And uh, I'm going to have to do some painting and some cleaning up back there. I've got some more decals I need to make for the rockers. I need to get my YouTube decal um, up over there. And then I need to make the same for the other side. I've got the stereo that I need to get installed. Some of you guys are probably going to ask about the Walmart rock lights. These are the ones that I got. Like I said, they're kind of hard to find. Uh, you get four of these rock lights for, I think it was like 20 bucks. It wasn't anything terrible. And uh, they're really bright. A little bit later in the video, I will show you exactly where I've got them mounted. Um, because I like to have the lights kind of concealed, you know, kind of hidden to where it's just the light and you can't see the actual uh, light module. Get some detail stuff return the ball joint press, come back and start knocking the rest of this out. And we should be uh, pretty good to go. All right. So here we, we, here we go. We've got it in the truck, uh, nice and flush mounted. I got this different Metra dash kit that looks a whole lot better. Uh, but the radio it's, it's in there and it works. Um, here's kind of just the issue that we're facing with this specific style of radio. Since it's a flip out screen, it flips out, but <laughs> It only flips out this far. So I don't know if uh, there's a way I could space that out and kind of push the actual head unit like outwards a little bit. That way it gives it more room to um, flip out fully. But, you know, it, it's kind of cool. It would definitely be pretty cool um, if everything, if it flipped out all the way and I had full access to the screen. But as far as Lista Truck National prep and everything goes, she's pretty much done. And uh, we've got the purple lights on here. And it's actually looking pretty good, even in the daylight. Uh, we've got some mis miscellaneous odds and ends to take care of, some stuff to clean up. Of course, it needs a full wash and um, probably a little wax. But let me go ahead and show you what I've done with the rock lights. Up front, I've got two in each front of well. This one's actually burned out. I'm still waiting on a replacement. And since this is a step side bed, we don't have an inner fender well. So I've actually got one mounted on the bed rail right there, on both sides of the truck. And uh, yeah, I get a lot of questions about that. You know, how do you mount rock lights on your step side bed? You just gonna be very careful. Don't get screws that are extremely long and just, you're just gonna have to screw it up in there. As far as the new lighting goes, here we've got the purple lighting. Uh, of course, we've got to take care of the wiring, get that zip tied and cleaned up. Uh, but these are the rock lights, the purple ones. They're not super, super bright, um, you know, but they're not super dim. It's just subtle enough to add the purple effect underneath the truck. And these are kind of weird. Uh, I got them on Amazon. They come in strings of three, like it's stringed up into three, you know, so all these are one string of lights and you just mount them up there. Uh, you can use 3M tape that they come with, or you can actually screw them up there. And I've actually just got them mounted with a 3M tape uh, since it's on the bottom side of the body and it's pretty secure. I'm honestly not really worried about those falling off at all. So we've got that on both sides of the body. So we've got six total of those. I will link those down below on Amazon if you guys are interested. And these are those Walmart rock lights that I was talking about. I've got them mounted on a bed rail up here, uh, right above the rear differential. So everything, everything down here is being nice and lit up. Uh, if I ever do get any powder coating done, it'll definitely be uh, pretty nice to look at, but extremely bright. And I did find out you can get these at O'Reilly's. O'Reilly sells these as well. Uh, there's like 44 bucks for a set of four. And the last two rock lights that we've got are on either side of the body bushings, there's a small spot over here that's a thinner metal uh, than trying to use your frame that you can actually screw these into. So we've got two more of those bright Walmart lights on either side. All right, ladies and gentlemen, aside from some odds and ends, this is what we're looking at for Lifted Truck Nationals this year. Honestly, in the screen, it really doesn't look too bad. Uh, the truck is idling a little bit rough. Um, you know, it's gonna be doing that. It's definitely not perfectly running, that's for sure but the, uh, the lights and everything look pretty good. You know, I'm pretty happy with the lights. Um, everything's looking pretty decent. And um, yeah, you know, I mean, for what it is, I'm fairly happy with it. Um, you know, like I said, it's, it's sounding pretty rough. You could tell we've got an issue in there somewhere and you know, that, that's, that's okay. That's just gonna have to be how it idles. 
So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little update video, this little what's a truck nationals prep video. And I uh, hope everybody is getting their trucks ready to go, getting everything where it needs to be. Hope to see some of you guys there. If you are there, please come up, say hey. Uh, would love to uh, shake your hand, meet you, you know, do whatever, you know, talk about the truck, whatever it may be. And uh, definitely looking forward to seeing your guys' builds as well. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that like button for me. If you're new to the channel, please go down below, hit that subscribe button for me for more future OBS content. And take care, guys. We will see you in the next video.